Hey y'all, it's grocery day. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Courtney, stay at home mom to two boys and I do these weekly grocery hauls here on my channel every Monday. And I also do what's for dinner videos on Fridays and then I like to throw in some extra videos too. So if any of that sounds good, then I would love to have you subscribe. Guess who got new glasses? They're supposed to be glare free, but clearly you can still see it. So I'm gonna just take those off. But I finally got them after what, over a month now, I would say, of wearing something in the side of my other glasses. Now if only I could get a haircut, we'd be doing good. Um, but in this grocery haul, I am sharing actually two grocery hauls. We went to Walmart today. Well, Travis went to Walmart. He did the grocery shopping um, for our main groceries. And then earlier in the week, me and my sister-in-law went to Publix and did a coupon haul. So I'm gonna include that at the end. All of those deals should be good, or at least at our stores, they're good until Tuesday, and then they start the new deals on Wednesday. So if you want any of those public deals that I'm sharing, then run over there today, Monday for you guys, or tomorrow. So everything that Travis went and got was $127, which actually seems like kind of a bit much for what he got. Um, I don't know if it's just us where we're at, but I feel like groceries have went up in price. Let me know if your all's is the same way, but I really feel like it's went up. I'll also be sharing the meal plan as usual. We're gonna be doing something fun and just doing casseroles, a whole week of casseroles this week. So that'll be fun for me to share with you guys at the end of the week on Friday in the what's for dinner video, but let's get on into it. For the meal plan, oh my goodness, you could totally see in the glare, um, all of their school stuff. We've got a bunch of the school stuff just laying out here because it's overflowing out of our kitchen cabinet where it won't fit. And we're gonna to try to find some kind of like organizer for it. If you guys have like any organization tips for school supplies and just crafts and that sort of thing, then totally let me know in the comments down below because we could use some help trying to find one. I found one at Hobby Lobby that was really cute, but I hesitated and didn't buy it. And then when I went back to the store, they were gone. So if you guys know of any, then let me know. But today is Sunday. We're gonna do chicken casserole, green beans, and rolls probably. Monday is potato casserole with the pork loin and some mac and cheese. Tuesday, pizza casserole with garlic bread. And all of these casseroles are like my absolute favorite casseroles. And last night we actually made a squash casserole and it was so amazing. We had that in BLTs and that'll be in the What's For Dinner video on Friday too. So you don't wanna miss it. That was so good. Wednesday we'll probably have leftovers because casseroles make a lot. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of leftovers for us. Then Thursday through Saturday, I'm gonna be out of town for my cousin's wedding. She's having her wedding on Friday, but we're doing like the rehearsal and everything on Thursday. And then I'll be staying the night Thursday and Friday and coming back on Saturday. So obviously won't be here to cook. So this is the meal plan for this week. Now let's get to the groceries. Y'all, all of this is what he got for $127. Ooh. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna share it with you. We've got some cheese crackers peanut butter and honey crackers. These two things were not on the list, but I ain't mad. These are my favorite brownies ever, the cosmic brownies. And then he got some Swiss rolls, Texas toast, the five cheese kind, it's so good. Then we needed some cream of chicken. He got the cream of chicken with herbs, sounds good to me. Um, some Jiffy cornbread mix, the shredded hash brown potatoes for the potato casserole. And I know I've shared this recipe like a while back with you guys. It's a family favorite. It was my grandma and my aunt's um, recipe for potato casserole and it's just really good. So I'm excited to have the potato casserole this week. Then he got the big box of granola bars. So hopefully we won't need those for a while. Some rotini noodles, orange juice, milk. It is ripped, it's stuck to the bag when I took it out of the bag. Got some butter sticks or margarine sticks. A one pound bag of shredded cheese, a loaf of bread, three white onions. We usually get like the yellow or sweet onions, but he said they were just not looking good. So he got three of the white onions. What, can somebody tell me the difference between white and yellow onions? I really don't know. I've just always gotten the yellow onions for some reason. Got a green pepper. He went ahead and got a big container of the Nesquik. We used to get Ovaltine, but for some reason we've been getting this and the kids still like this one. I think it had more like vitamins and things in it. I'm not really sure. Got a large thing of Nutella. We do use Nutella a lot. Some Sprite, two containers of sour cream, some celery, ground beef, and then a pork loin. We got the slow roasted golden rotisserie flavor this time. Two pears, some pepperonis, some honey crisp apples. As usual, we buy these just about every single week. A carton of eggs, just 12. 
some more syrup, olive oil, French fried onions for my chicken casserole, some mustard, then he got some more deodorant, Listerine, and then these car air fresheners, and he already put one in my car when he was coming back from getting groceries. So. so that was all of this week's groceries for meals and that sort of thing, but we still got coupon deals from Publix, so make sure you stick around to see all of that. Okay, so a lot of you wanted to see like what I could get couponing and like share my Publix hauls or whatever couponing that I do during the week. And we, me and my sister-in-law did make a trip to Publix this week, so I thought I would share it with you all. And I got really excited when you guys said that you wanted to see it because it makes me excited to get deals. All of this total was $43 and I'll kind of do a breakdown of it. I won't say like the individual price because I use quite a bit of coupons and stuff like that. So I'll just put it on the screen like I do normally in my grocery hauls so I don't get confused. The toaster stools were on sale for buy one get one free but I didn't have a coupon for them. But y'all know that we love these. And then I saw these cinnamon toast crunch ones and of course we had to get those. They look amazing. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Then the Johnson & Johnson, I got four. Their products were buy two, get three off. And then we had coupons. We did it twice, the deal twice. So I had a $2 off coupon, a $1 off coupon, and then a $2 off coupon and a $1 off coupon. We went in the store twice and you can only use those coupons once according to the coupon that we were using. So these hand and face wipes, Johnson & Johnson ones, ended up being such a good deal. And then we needed some actual body wash and shampoo. So I got one of each of those. Then we got some Juicy Juice. These I thought were a really good deal too because they ended up being just 75 cents each. They were buy one, get one free. Then these Perfect Kids Bars, they're a five pack. I got the peanut butter cookie ones and chocolate chip ones. They're actually refrigerated snack bars and they were on sale, but there was also an Ibotta offer where you can get $1.50 back per box. So I did get two boxes and I'll get $3 back total for those. So I think they came out to be in like $1.50 each. I'm pretty sure I'll let you guys know obviously on the screen. Um, but if you're not using Ibotta, you definitely should. I've saved up so much money on there. And I can leave a code for you guys in the um, description box below if you want to sign up for Ibotta. Every receipt that I have, I always check the deals from Ibotta. And then also um, scan my receipts to the Fetch app. So I'll leave both of those in the description box below. Fetch is a little bit different because it gives you points on everything that you get. And every receipt that you scan. And you can cash that in for gift cards. I think... I've only been using it for a few months and I've already got like $35 worth that I can get out of, out of gift cards. So that's pretty exciting. But I bought it. I've saved up a lot. Then all of the flat out breads were buy one, get one free. And then we had a dollar off of one coupons. Um, so I did a couple and then my sister-in-law did a few too. Um, I actually picked up one of these for a friend. But I got the olive oil and sea salt ones and then the light original. Persil or however you call it. I literally do not know. It's a 15 count of the laundry disc and they were on sale for $3.99 and we had $2 off um, coupon on the mobile app, making them $1.99. Got my helper here. And as soon as he woke up this morning, he got pin all over his face, didn't you? Can you show me the pin on your face? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Skippy peanut butter I was really excited for because we're completely out of peanut butter and we use it a lot. They were buying it one free and then we had um, coupons for 75 cents off of two. I did get eight of the jars of peanut butter but I got a few for a friend so we're not keeping it all even though I wouldn't mind if we did because we go through peanut butter a lot. Then on their Publix mobile app a lot of times you can get they have freebies that you can get and this was one of the freebies this week. Last week they had three different yogurts that you could get for free, but I got lemon meringue, so it took $2 off of my grocery order. Then chicken and a biscuit. These things are really expensive in the store and um, they were about to get one free this week for the family size. And then we had a 75 cent off of two coupon. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. The kids absolutely love these little crackers. So when it's something we're gonna buy anyway, it's definitely awesome when you can get it on sale, plus a coupon. And y'all know we go through a lot of cereal. Oh my goodness, who are you? We still got the happy birthday banner up. It is not anybody's birthday anymore. <laughs> then y'all already know that we go through a lot of cereal. So I got three or three boxes. That's definitely not three. That's five boxes of cereal. And um, I had two different kinds of coupons. There was a printable one that I did that was a dollar off of two. And then there was a one that was in like the coupon books that you get in the mail. That was a dollar fifty off of three. So I used two of those coupons and got Honey Nut Cheerios. I thought these chocolate peanut butter ones would be good to make like little snack bars out of, so I'm gonna try that out. Then two boxes of the Blueberry Chicks. Travis really likes that cereal, so I got two of those. I think the kids like that one too, I can't remember. 
and then Lucky Charms because we all love that one. If you guys want me to keep on including the couponing hauls and what deals I find throughout the week, then let me know in the comments down below because I really enjoy doing it. But again, it was all $43. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.